We're all out here today on the East Machias River doing a little red counting, which means we're either walking or canoeing through sections of the river looking for places where adult Atlantic salmon that are a result of the Peter Gray Park Project come and spawn by uh, looking for their reds or their nests in the gravel. The average Atlantic salmon red might be five to seven feet long, depending on water flows and size of the fish. The female actually turns on her side, flaps her tail, and since she's doing that in the current, she'll start to excavate a pit. And what she'll do is once she has that pit excavated, she'll release some eggs. The male will release the milk to fertilize the eggs. She'll move forward of that, turn on her side and flap her tail and make another pit, which covers that pit with the gravel she kicks up. So just taking a GPS point, marking where it is, and, and on we go. You know, depending on the conditions and what you're seeing, you, you make a judgment call of if you think it's a red or a test pit or if it's this year or years past. Uh, two reds side by side. You can see the light colored pits out front and then the two mounds of rocks behind. That's good. More salmon in the river. A typical red might have two or three or four pits underneath the mound of gravel. You know, and a typical female might have anywhere from five to 10,000 eggs. As a salmon flips over rocks, like that's what you would normally see. But then if she, she flips it over, you can see the lighter part of it. So far this season, we've found 20 reds. It doesn't sound like very many, but you have to understand these fish were, are on the brink of extinction. So the fact that the East Machaya still has a remnant wild Atlantic salmon population coming back to spawn is pretty impressive. This river had a big dam. It had dams you know, off and on for 200 years at the head of the river, and it's only been 20 years that it's been free flowing. You know these fish, they spend two years in the river, and then they go out to the ocean for two years, go all the way up to Greenland, which is thousands of miles away, and then come all the way back to the river where they were born, and often the same stretch of river where they were born to spawn. I have, will, continue to canoe, drag, walk through all sorts of stuff. Makes it feel a little more worth it because you found that red. 